galing sa puso. Amen? But the review, natanong ko tuloy si Lord, no? Lord, is it, is it me? Yung nagpa-praise sa lips na, but I pray na that our, all of us, our praise and worship may be, may um, be uh, sa miyong araw man. Sa kanina mo. Amen? So wala na nang dito, di ba, nagpa-praise and worship na sa lips na, no? I believe. Amen. Dahil po ba tayo na i- na i-surrender natin sa Panginoon kung ano ka na nag-i-inter sa atin sa pagpuli. Amen? So, praise God. Today, um, are we prepared for the message? Amen? I believe. Uh, ang gagamitin ng Lord today na nagdadaluyan ng kanyang mensahe ay ang aming kapitbahay sa MC1 and praise God finally pastoran nakita na rin kita finally amen yes kapitbahay na dahil hindi kami kikita kasi umaalis kami sa bahay 5am dumadating kami na yung 13 ang gabi so hindi kami nakikita kita doon sa atin na lang nakikita ko kasi isa lang kusina namin So, she is the wife of Pastor Glenn and the leader of Armor Bearer, a network leader of the Armor Bearer. She is Pastor Eva Salam. Preparing the way of the Lord, and we are in 
week 1. Amen. So week 1 has the title, The Forerunners for Christ. Amen. The Forerunners for Christ. We have four lessons, four, four topics uh, uh, for chapter 9. That is in the slide. Amen. Week 1, The Forerunners for Christ. Week 2, don't be left behind. Then week three, bring our family, family's hope. And then the last one, how prepared are we? So now we are in a uh, week one now, okay? Uh, so before we start, before we go on, uh, let us uh, uh, pause for a while for a short prayer and ask guidance from the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be unto you, O God. Hallelujah, the Most High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, the maker of heaven and earth, O God, hallelujah, the beginning and the end, O Lord God, hallelujah, our, the, the God, hallelujah, of yesterday, today, and forever, hallelujah, the Alpha and Omega, O God, the beginning and the end, hallelujah, the God that ne never changes, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Panginoon namin, O God, na pinagtitiwalaan ng, ng lahat, O God, hallelujah, apart from you, wala kami magagawa, O God, hallelujah, Everything, Panginoon, O God, hallelujah. We cannot hide anything from you, Panginoon, O Diyos, hallelujah. Right now, I am humbly bowed down myself, Panginoon, before you, O God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, whatever, or whatever, O God, na mga hallelujah, whatever, that, that we have a hindrance, O God, hindrances that will uh, uh, hinder, O God. Uh, hallelujah for your word, O God, to flow, O Diyos, hallelujah, freely, hallelujah, Lord, cleanse me from all, hallelujah, and righteousness, Panginoon, right now, O God. Yes, Lord, and ha I ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit, O God, to be with us, O Lord God, hallelujah, hallelujah, set, O God, your revelation, O God, open our spiritual ears and understanding, Panginoon, O God, hallelujah, to all, to all of your, uh, uh, hallelujah, servants, O God. Lord, may, may your words be be a uh, strength, O Lord God, encouragement to each and every one, Panginoon, sa lahat, Panginoon, na may, may mga uh, nakararanas, Panginoon, ng mga pamilina, O God. Lord, may your name be lifted up only, O God, hallelujah. No flesh shall be lifted up, Panginoon, but you, O Lord, only God, O Lord, who is worthy of God of our praise, honor, and adoration. To you alone the glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So today's scripture is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 3 to 5. Uh, may we all stand up as we read the, the scripture of the Lord, the scripture. Uh, let us read together the voice, the the voice, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Everybody shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill broke low. The cruel and patience shall be made straight, and the round places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Glory be to God for the reading of His word. Hallelujah. Uh, you, uh, you may sit down, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Yes, of God. Hallelujah. So, salamat nga po sa pagkabasa ng kanyang talita. Okay. So, we will go now to our objectives, no? So, for today's topic, we have two objectives. The first one, to understand the Christian calling first with the soul and responsibilities. Amen. So, the, the word that that's, uh, the, caught my attention there is soul and why is there in that uh, first uh, objective, it says that our calling as Christian is soul and. Amen. As I look upon the meaning of solemn, it says in the, in the meaning that uh, says dignified, formal, and serious. So, that means we have a serious responsibilities. Amen? Uh, as Christian. Being 
told us that this child, we have a, a serious responsibilities to be done. Amen? Okay, so <clears throat> number two, to be an effective forerunner for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So the word forerunner was being mentioned now in this uh, uh, objective number two, forerunner. Okay, so we will be able to know what is to be a forerunner, but the question is how? How are we going to be an effective forerunner for the coming of the Lord Jesus? So this will, will be our, no, uh, we will know this as we go on to our, to the message of the Lord this morning. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> so introduction. <clears throat> Okay, it says here, about 4,000 years before the coming of the Lord Jesus in the book of, in the book of Malachi, no, God promised, God, God promised his people that he will, that he will come back again, you know? But before that happened, it says that he will send a forerunner. Amen? He will send a forerunner before he comes back again. Okay? So, in Malachi 3, 1, sabi po doon, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. So, it was prophesied. Amen? It was prophesied that the Lord Jesus will be coming back again. Amen? So, ano ba yung forerunner? What is a forerunner? Let us define what is a forerunner. So, it says that a forerunner is a person or thing that precedes the coming or development of someone or something else. Uh, the other meaning of that is that um, it is an uh, in simple meaning advanced messenger. Amen? Hallelujah. Forerunner, advanced messenger. So, <clears throat> meaning that there will be a person who will come ahead. Ahead. Amen? That person will, that forerunner or person will come ahead to proclaim or announce. Announce, no? Uh, about a special person or a notable event that will that will happen that will happen. Do you get the meaning? Amen, amen. amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So yon, no? Siya po yung magiging uh, advanced messenger ng ng pagdating ng ng isang maaring mahalagang tao o mahalagang pangyayari na magaganap. Amen. Hallelujah. So in the Bible, the biblical meaning of the term forerunner implies someone who was sent in advance to pave the way for the coming of the Messiah. So ito na nga po yun. Amen? And sino ang gumanap ng role na ito? That role was accomplished in the life and ministry of John the Baptist. Amen? Amen. So si John the Baptist po yung uh, uh, pinili na maging forerunner ng pagdating ni Jesus. Amen? Sabi nga po doon, Mark, Matthew 11.10 For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face who will prepare your way before you. So John the Baptist was the forerunner of the first coming of Jesus Christ. So, uh, I think we all know John the Baptist. Amen? Amen. Another, another, what another, uh, maybe what another important uh, role that you remember about John the Baptist? Aside from, he was the one who paved the way for the coming of the Lord Jesus. He was also the one who okay. baptized. Amen. The one who baptized the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. <coughs> So, it says here that uh, in this, ano, uh, in this, uh, in this uh, temporal, the temporary time, may, may, uh, we can consider John the Baptist, no, as a 
a modern day evangelist. Why? Because he was, oh, he unshamedly shared the good news of Jesus Christ. So, talaga wala po siyang takot <coughs> na ina-i-spra, na i-preach o ipahayag ang mabuting balita ng kalintasan, no? <coughs> Another characteristics that he possessed is that he was a man filled with faith and to the and a role model to those who wish to share their faith with others. Kung baga talaga, napakatapang po niyang uh, uh, evangelist, wala siyang pinakatakutan, no fear, he was, he was brave, he was so bold to preach and to share the, the, the good news of salvation. Amen? Hallelujah. So, John the Baptist preached the baptism of repentance. Amen? So, ito po ang kanya preach while he was on earth. Okay? He preached the baptism of repentance. Hallelujah. Uh, for people to turn from their wicked ways to prepare them for the coming of the Messiah. That, uh, that is uh, written in uh, Luke 3, 7 to 14. So, ito po ang naging main duty ni uh, John Baptist during his time. Uh, he preached the baptism of repentance. Amen? Uh, sabi nga po doon sa Luke 3.3, he went into all the, na the nation. Talaga nagpupunta siya sa iba-ibang uh, lugar para, para i-preach, no? Around Jordan River, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. <clears throat> ano ba itong baptism of repentance? Amen? So, baptism of repentance is an act of faith necessary to receive forgiveness for our sins. It's an act of faith, no? Uh, uh, yon. Uh, and it is turning 180 degrees from your sin toward the giving of your life to God. Kung baga ito po ay uh, uh, total sur no total surrender to God. Totally, you will turn away from your sin. Amen. When you repent to God, uh, it should not be a uh, uh, tawag dito. Hindi 360 ah, 180 lang, 180. Kasi ito 360 babalik ako dito. So it, it must be 180 degrees lang. Hindi mo na babalik ang kasalanan mo. Amen. Amen. So that is true repentance. Amen. True true repentance. Doesn't mean that you just feel remorse, you just feel sad, but it must be coming from your heart. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. True repentance. That is true repentance. You will, you will not come, come back again to your sin. Total surrender. Amen? Amen. So that was the, the, the John the Baptist preach. Amen. While, he, while uh, uh, he was on earth. <clears throat> he tell the people to 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 surrender their lives, to, to, to pagsisihan ng mga kasalanan, magpabautismo, pagsisihan ng mga kasalanan. Amen? Hallelujah. So, the, okay, what is the message of the first coming of the Messiah? So, the first, the message of the first coming of the Messiah is about His salvation. Amen? Okay. Kaya nga po yun ang uh, uh, naging mission ni John the Baptist during the time. Okay, share ang salvation sa mga tao, iwar ng mga tao na, na magsisi at magpabautismo. Amen? Amen. Magpabautismo at magsisi sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if there is the first coming of Christ, there is also the second coming of Christ. Amen? Amen. O sure po ito na na there is first coming, definitely there will be a, a uh, second coming of Jesus Christ. And, and if there was a forerunner for the first coming, definitely there are forerunners for the second coming. Amen? So, uh, kung si John the Baptist ang uh, uh, forerunner for the first coming, uh, there will be again. See? See who po kaya? Okay? Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So the forerunners of the second coming of Christ. Okay. 
The Christian concept of our time is so shallow that to be a Christian, a person needs to receive the free salvation that Christ offers. Sabi dito, uh, our knowledge daw po, or uh, you, our knowledge or understanding about being a Christian is so shallow. Amen? Hallelujah. Bababaw yung, yung pagkaunawa natin tayo ay uh, naging kristyano. Sabi nga dito, no, pag sinabing kristyan, yes, uh, magandang pakinggan sa ating mga pandinig. Magandang pakinggan na tayo naging kristyano. We accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen? So, sabi nga, an, minsan, ma maririnig natin naging kristyano na ba na siya? Praise be to God. No, magandang pakinggan, di ba? So, ano nga ba ang tunay na kristyano? Maging kristyano, amen? Uh, ito nga ba ay masabi lang na tayo ay ligtas na? Amen? And after that, wala na, wala na tayo gagawin. So, being a Christian is that we are being contented and satisfied that we are saved. But we will do nothing. We will do anything no. Amen? It should not be like that. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. After we receive Christ, our Lord and Savior, finish. No. It doesn't be like that. Amen? Hallelujah. So, sabi dito, the extreme teaching on grace has made the issue of Christianity even worse. So, yun nga daw po sabi dito, nakapagpa-worsen pa po yung, yung, yung teaching natin about grace. Why? Because uh, some teaching about it says that after we receive Christ, yes, we can do anything na because we are saved. But that's not be the case. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. We have, hallelujah, sabi dito, we have, yan, salvation by grace is indeed free, but discipleship calls for Christian responsibility. Amen? Amen. Meaning, we have two disciples. Amen? Amen? We have two disciples, mga kapatid, and after we receive Christ, hindi lang, uh, hindi lang, hindi lang, uh, na-receive natin, pero wala na tayong gagawin. But, after that, we have to make an action. We have to disciple. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Dapat po may gagawin tayo. We should not satisfy or we should not be satisfied na being called as Christian, hindi lang tayo Christiano in, in word, but more in action. Amen? We say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. So, yun po, ano? hindi lang pala kailangan na naging kristyano tayo yung na uh, we are being ka nga we are being labeled as Christian but we we must uh, dapat mayroong action tayo no? ngayon sabihin natin sa ating mga katabi you and me and every true disciple we are the forerunners we are the forerunners of the second coming of the Lord Okay, so tayo na pala yung mga forerunners. Amen? Amen. Of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We will be the one who will shout in the desert, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Not just the Baptist anymore. Because wala na dito. Now, no? Si John the Baptist is, is not here anymore. Uh, we will not be expecting that he will, he will come here in a, he will come in front of us or in our in our time today and then he will shout, prepare the way of the Lord. No. Tayo na yun. Amen? Amen? We are the one. We will be the one who will shout, prepare the way of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah! Because we are the uh, forerunners of Christ for the second, His second coming. Hallelujah! Yes, Father God, hallelujah! 
Amen. So, we, in our time, we are now, uh, we will be the one to shout in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Amen. Hallelujah. So, we will prepare the way of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Make his path straight. Uh, and uh, this will be the great role. Ito po yung magiging great role and responsibility natin being a uh, forerunner of Christ. Amen? So the question is, saan ba? Amen? At kanino? Amen? To whom and where should our voice be heard? Kanino at saan ba dapat marinig ang mga boses natin na magsasabi na, na prepare the way of the Lord. Amen? Kanino ba dapat? Hmm. Amen? Yes. In your workplace. Amen? Where Jesus Christ is not known. It may be in the hospital in the company or establishment where you are working. It may be in uh, your accommodation. Amen? To whom you are, uh, to those people you are uh, uh, associating with. Amen? Yes, hallelujah. So, they are the people. Hallelujah. So, it's they, they are the people who are in the spiritual wilderness that needs a voice crying out, prepare the way of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Your school, where there were many, many unsaved people, is a spiritual wilderness that needs a voice crying out, prepare the way of the Lord. Wherever you are, Amen? Where many people do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is a spiritual wilderness that needs a voice crying out, prepare the way of the Lord. Amen? So, nasaan man kayo, tayo, lugar, amen, na, na kung saan may nangangailangan ng kaligtasan, yun ang uh, place na kung saan kailangan marinig ang boses natin. Amen? Hallelujah. Sabi nga kanina doon sa prophecy na natandaan ko, sabi doon, let my voice be your voice. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, that was the confirmation. Amen? Hallelujah. It is our solemn duty as forerunners of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sa mga lugar na ito, dapat na marinig po ang ating mga tinig. Amen? Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So, if we already have Jesus Christ in our heart as Lord and Savior, if we already have experienced the goodness of the Lord, if you already have known and experienced His love and mercy, if we have already understood and enjoyed the benefits of the cross, then we are a voice of one calling in the wilderness. Tayo po yon mga kapatid. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Tayo na po yun, ano? At wala nang iba. Because we believe, we have experienced, hallelujah, the goodness of God in our lives. Amen. So, tayo na po yun, hallelujah. Praise be to God. So, the message of the second coming of Christ is judgment. Kung, kung ang message ng first coming of the Lord Jesus is salvation, the, now the, the message of the second coming is judgment. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That is the sad truth, no? That is, if people do not turn to Jesus in repentance, then He is judged already. That is the sad truth. If people will not turn to repentance, He is judged already. And we do not want, we do not want it to happen, amen? amen. To any of our loved ones, to any of our friends, our our relatives. Amen. We do not want it to happen that they will be judged, they will they will per be perished. Amen? Amen. So it's about time that 
our voice to be heard. Prepare the way of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Do not wait. The, the salvation is now. Amen? Hallelujah. Ayaw nating mangyari yon na ang ating mga mga mahal sa buhay ay, ay mapahama, ay mapunta sa impyerno. Amen. Okay. Sabi nga sa John 3.18, Who he believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. At sabi din sa John 3.36, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life. Amen. But the wrath of God abided on you. Amen. Napaka sad. Amen. That will be as the sad truth. That if if someone or or if someone do, uh, will not believe Jesus, then He is judge. Amen? He will be condemned. Amen. Hallelujah. So as what I said earlier na ayaw po natin itong mangyari sa, sa isa man sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. But we want them to be saved. Amen? Amen. So it's time. It's time for us to cry that our voice to be heard. We should not be silent anymore. Amen? Amen? We should not be silent. Our voice must be heard in the desert. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hindi na po natin kailangan pang manahinip. We should not close our mouth. We should open it. We should, we should um, shout. We should uh, reach. Or we should uh, hallelujah. Warn our neighbor, our friends, that it's, it's time for them to repent and be baptized. Okay, the duty is expected from foreigners. So, meron pala po tayong gagampanan na, na duties. Hallelujah. May gagampanan pala po tayong mga duties as a foreigner of Jesus Christ. Number one, so, nakalagay dito apat na duties, no? Number one is to be a voice of one crying in the wilderness. To be a voice. Hallelujah. To be a voice. Maging, maging tinig tayo, maging boses tayo doon sa des, sa ilang. Sa ilang. Eh, Di ba? Ano, sino nga po yung mga desert na yung sinasabi mga ilang yung mga walang relasyon sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Sabi nga sa Isaiah 40 verse 3, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. So when we speak about wilderness, it pertains to an uncultivated, uninhabited, and inhospitable region where wild animals lurk around for their prey. Amen. So alam naman natin, ano, di ba? It also implies a position of disfavor. So, familiar tayo, no? Because we are living here in the, in the Middle East, no? So, uh, wilderness, in other words, is desert. Amen? Desert. Hindi desert. Hindi pala desert, ha? Desert. Okay? So, that implies, sabi nga dito is, implies uninhabited. You, you, as we can see, di ba, the picture of a desert, a dry land, no water, then, no, baga, uh, we do not want to live there. Amen? It's hot, maybe. The temperature is hot. Amen? And then, uh, the, the soil or the land is uh, yung pitak-pitak. Amen? Because it's desert. That, that, that is the picture of a desert. So, spiritually speaking, ano ba yung desert na sinasabi? Amen? Hallelujah. So spiritually speaking, hallelujah. Ayan, so, ito po yun. 
So yun ang ibig sabihin. No? Spiritually speaking, wilderness is a place of sin and lostness from God's favor. Sin. Amen? It's a lostness from God's favor. So yun ang ibig sabihin, no? In a spiritual sense. So ibig sabihin, your soul, that's, your soul is dry, withered because you have no relationship with with God, no? In other words, that person or that uh, that person is lost. Amen. So that person maybe has no any idea about God. He has not known about God. Amen. That is uh, the uh, spiritual wilderness made. Okay, in a spiritual sense. Okay. He, is, he, he was lost. He has no relationship with God. So, if we would look, if we will look around, you know, here in our, in this world, if we will look around, many people 